Alrighty, so I had a, my buddy bring over his KPO DX5000 Plus radio since I don't have one currently right now. And I did some testing on it and was able to do some adjustments on the radio. So anybody that has one of these that purchased one of these from me, um, I can now make your radio if you're wanting a lower dead key on AM and you're wanting a little more modulation I can definitely take care of that so that it is possible with this radio it was just a matter of you know experimentation so again there's no adjustments on the board it's all done through the radio so this is pretty much what you would expect so, um, I think the RF power, let put it on AM mode. So, I changed this radio from its high power dead key, which I think was over 10 watts. Um, I changed it down to, we got a 5 in here on this side, so I changed it to about 4. And then if I roll it back it's about a half a watt so it's more like a regular you know CB radio in that sense so um, RF power all the way down RF power all the way up I actually have the there we go, do that so there you can see now if you do that so your SRF kind of goes away at that point but it's not really that big of a deal so um, we just have our go to mic here again can't wait to get some more of these and some more of these but for the time being we don't have them so we got a 50 watt on this side peak power reading so this this is just with our microphone right here so hello check check one two three four now remember this is uh this is a half a watt right here so you can see you know the amount of forward swing the radio has now and then with our and that was with our half a watt right there. Hello, check one, two, three, four, five. Check, check, hello. So all the way up. Four watts all the way up, and then you know pretty much uh, takes the 50 out. So it does a little bit better modulation now than what it did before. Um, we'll go to we'll go to lower side band here. Our power still all the way up, so. Check one, two, check one, two. And we need to turn this one around because there's no sense uh, slapping that one in the corner every time we talk. So here's our off power now on sideband one, two. So pretty much matches the AM level as well. And then if you turn it back, you know, you can turn it way down if you want. It's fully adjustable really anywhere you want to set the radio on sideband, which is nice. So. You can, you know, I guess if you did want to run something smaller, which I don't know why you would when you got a 50 watt radio, but, you know, every watt doesn't really count in that matter. I mean, if your radio's doing 50 watts, you really need about 200 to get one more S unit. So, but, you know, everybody has their own uh, opinion on things. So, but I think the radio's working a lot better. Um,. I can show you guys really quick on the scope and everything. So we'll go back to AM first and show you guys that it is clean with these settings as well. So uh, we'll do the low power setting first. So let me get that set up. I don't. I'm not on the camcorder. I'm just on the phone because I'm trying to do this quick. All right. So we're keyed up in AM. Our power is completely counterclockwise at its lowest setting. So uh, again, it's about a half a watt there. Be a little more, uh, it's about half a watt, anyways. So, over here we have channel 31, center frequency 32 to the right, 30 to the left. Uh, here's our scope right here. So, let's see here, if I like that, that'll be better. So, turn on our audio, and there you go. So, it's just a little over a hundred, maybe. Just a touch though, it's not a ton. There. 
but it is much better than what it was before. There's our spectrum analyzer, looks good. There's no adjacents or anything coming into question, so that's good there. Um, if we turn our power level up, let me cut that for a minute. So this would be our high power setting here, so I have to re-situate things here. Okay, let's get this down. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. So the radio is now in high power right there. And let's see. So now we got just a little bit more mod. It might be like a hundred and a quarter, somewhere in there. So still looks pretty good though. I'd say that's probably about the max you'd want to go. And with a 4 watt dead key, with just the tone, the peak envelope power with the tone, it's a little over 20. So, you know, when you talk into that, of course, it does more with a microphone. But there's our RF uh, spectrum analyzer. So, everything looks good. It's all within where it should be. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, definitely improves the radio quite a bit. So... Like I say, if anyone, a uh, customer that got one of these from me is interested in this, just shoot me an email or a phone call or a text or something. And uh, lately though, text message phone or email is usually the best way, an easiest way for me to respond back at a in a reasonable amount of time. Sometimes the phone calls are a little difficult. So I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can if you call by phone, but a lot of times it's just easier with a text message or an email so that's it for this one timeout timer got me again we'll catch you guys on the next one seven three